Hey there, Brant here. And if you've been following my newsletter or me on Instagram, you know that I have spent the last couple of months in Western Turkey where I've been exploring some of the exciting trails and old ruins in this part of the world. It's cold here now, but last summer it was nice and hot and I took a rather harrowing bus ride to the ancient city of Knidos, which you were about to see now. Who exactly is worried about COVID in a situation like this? I'm worried about dying in a spectacular fireball of tumbling bus and bodies rolling over a cliff somewhere in Turkey. Ah. With the Formula One excitement behind us, we came to the ruins of Knidos, a Greek city started in the 4th century BC and located on the very tip of the Dacha Peninsula. Knidos was renowned in the ancient world for its contributions to astronomy and medical science. The architect who built the Beacon of Alexandria, one of the seven wonders of the world, hailed from Knidos, as did Judexis, considered by some to be the greatest of classical Greek mathematicians and one of the world's first experts in astronomy. This is a crane that they use to reconstruct parts that they find and maybe even build new ones. Bobby and I spent a warm afternoon examining the architectural remains of the ancient city, ornate stone carvings, marble pillars, massive walls, and what's left of the temple to Aphrodite, famous for the huge statue of her that once stood there, now gone. Actually, the smaller of the two amphitheaters here. It was built in uh, the second century AD. As you climb up here, you get to where, I guess they would call the peanut gallery, but you get a pretty good view. circular base is all that's left of the great temple to Apollo, whose massive statue stood here at one time overlooking the great city that is now just rubble, weeds, and broken stone. How ironic. Wow, the ruins just go on and on and on. Would have loved to have been back here when they were all brand new. More trekking after the mad Italian, leading me up a goat trail to the top of the mountain, overlooking the altar. Yikes. <laughs> okay, probably not super well advised to try this with one hand, but wow, whoa, wow, Bobby, come up here, wow, nice, super nice. You can see some structures still left there overlooking this cove. Imagine how nice it would have been to have a house there 200 years before Jesus was born. fragrant and lovely, but dangerous. The city must have been stunning in its heyday, and I try to imagine myself there 2,000 years ago, in a time before the seashore was littered with plastic water bottles and discarded COVID masks, watching Greek ships sail in and out of the city's turquoise harbor, their holds laden with terracotta containers brimming with oil and wine. So a visit to the ruins 
the Clidos is well worth it, especially to watch the sunset. And I believe we found our place to do that right here. This is what you get to see. Thanks for coming along with me on this brief video tour of Knidos. You can get there by bus or, as I wrote about in my March 2021 dance newsletter, by foot along the famous Karia Yalu Trail. Either way, you are sure to enjoy the ruins of ancient Knidos. Go Mobile is a production of Dance Past Sunset, my podcast and blog for people in the second half of life seeking peak life experiences. Go Mobile is for people like me who are culturally curious, environmentally sensitive, and on a budget. You'll find gobs of stories about being a backpacking nomad in his 60s in my book, Blue Skyways, available now on Amazon. So if you like to travel like I do, then subscribe to this channel and sign up for my newsletter at dancepastsunset.com for news and information on how to make the rest of your lives the best of your lives. And thanks for watching.